Switching gears now back here at Austin, a local business owner is getting an award for immigrant achievement this morning. We're getting a closer look at a local favorite, cilantro, and how it started. Let's join Tanya Ortega live from South Austin with more on this. Tanya. Well, Amanda, for people who have lived here for a few years, they'll definitely remember seeing the cilantro fruit, food trucks everywhere. Now they're getting ready to open up their sixth brick and mortar location, and man, they've come a long way. In the last five years, I've been to Cilantro countless times, only Instagramming a few of my visits. But I never really knew how my delicious kimchi fries came to be. That is until I caught up with Jay Kim, the man behind Cilantro. I wanted to start a food trailer or food trucks. Uh, and I had a couple options. I had New York, I had San Antonio, Houston. But Austin was the place where I wanted to be. But to really understand how cilantro got to where it is now, we have to go back to South Korea in the early 90s. That's where Jay grew up. Prior to our family moving here to the States, I went to Disneyland. So, like, all I knew was, wow, this is paradise. Uh, so, Disney movies, going to Disneyland in California, and that's what I knew. Uh, I think my mom really wanted to find a better opportunity for myself and, and the family, so we made the move. In 96, Jay and his family moved to California, eventually relocating to Texas after college. He knew he wanted his own business, so he took a big risk. I started a food truck because I didn't have money to start the restaurant. Uh, in, in order to start a restaurant, you need capital. And all I had was $30,000 in my savings, and I maxed out my credit card to start a food truck that I knew that I could only survive for six months with the money that I had. And that gamble paid off. Cilantro now has four food trucks, and they're getting ready to open their sixth brick and mortar location. But that growth didn't come without some long hours for Jay. I worked really hard. I worked 18 to 20 hour days for about a year and a half. And that was because I didn't have the resources to hire people. Which is part of the reason why American Gateways chose Jay for their Immigrant Achievement Award. The nonprofit provides legal services for low income immigrants in Central Texas. I think our immigrant neighbors often have a lot of challenges that other people may not realize. There's, there's language barriers, there's cultural barriers, there's the bureaucracy that we are kind of have grown up with that they haven't. And even though Jay will be presented the award, he says there is someone else who deserves a credit. When I was told that I was going to be receiving an award with uh, American Gateways, uh, I thought about my mom and uh, how she's done the, the, the hard part for, for me to be where I'm at. So I shouldn't be receiving this award. Uh, it, should, it should be my mom, and I, I was really proud to tell her that. Now, American Gateways will be hosting an awards gala on Thursday to honor all of the recipients. If you would like to join in, you can head to AmericanGateways.org for tickets. They start at $150. Now, Jay also tells us they do have plans to expand Cilantro past Austin. They're hoping uh, to go to Dallas and Houston soon. And for more info, you can go to CilantroBBQ.com. Amanda, I don't know if you ever had the kimchi fries. Yes. They're my favorite. I'm oh. just getting excited just thinking about them. <laughs> You're, it's right behind you, Tanya. You can do something about it. Come we'll get a breakfast taco in Knock there, too. Knocking on the door. Oh. They didn't open until 1030, I think. Oh, Very boy. good breakfast taco. Well, you got to go to the truck, truck yeah. down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On a given day, you might fans. see us loitering mm -hmm. around the truck. We got to hustle right after the show is over. It's this yeah. Breakfast stops at 1030. <laughs> Dave keeps them in business, I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. I do my part. Oh, yeah. I do my Tacos best. Are good. Yeah.